Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Persona 5 Royal. Um, I literally loaded my save file and immediately it popped up this text, which is weird because I saved while I was in the classroom already and I didn't get the text before. Um, but whatever, sure, let's, let's start with this. Hey, have you heard of this AI mask guy? Well, AI mask Uzi, I guess. Some extreme video game streamer with a robot mask and a big audience. We had a request on the fan site from someone who knows him in real life. One of the streamer's friends? Apparently they want him to stop streaming himself going around doing borderline illegal stuff. When anyone tries to talk him out of it, he flips and gets violent. They say he's out of control. Do we have a name? Yeah, about that. He says he's not gonna post the guy's info online. I guess this AI mask Uzi guy has pissed off a lot of people. If he got doxxed, things could get ugly. So we only have his title then, or screen name, or whatever. How can I get more hints? I'm looking at his archives now. A lot of these streams seem to be from Kichijoji. If we check around the, in Kichijoji, maybe talk to some students. We might learn something. Hey, Lou, how are you doing? We, we need to actually play games again sometime, huh? It, it's been too long. Students, huh? So our best shot is probably weekday afternoons. Kitchen Joji isn't the only place he visits. Couldn't hurt to check out our locations too. Okay, let's all look around. Sure. Sounds good. We'll we'll look around for that. So it looks like these requests like they aren't consistent in when you get them. Because this didn't pop up before I loaded my save, but it popped up after I loaded my save. Which is weird. I'm doing good. Uh, got my first COVID shot yesterday. And initially I thought I had no side effects at all. But then later on, I did get a bit of a sore arm. But that's really it. So, you know, that's fine. No big deal to just have a sore arm for a few hours. Um, and yeah, for the rest, nothing really. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I've still been enjoying Persona 5 a lot. We are actually near the end now, I think. But, uh, yeah, it's been good. Okay, so we have a few options. I think I want to hang out with Sumire because we can get the romance option now. Wait, doesn't that also mean... Right. While I'm here, let's see if we can dig up this guy's real name. Let's listen in to some people. Have you heard of a streamer? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's listen in a bit. He body slammed into the line at the croquette shop and had a tantrum saying you're blocking traffic? What the heck? I recalled when I saw that. I'm a psychic, my classmate. He's apparently that guy's little brother. Seriously? I feel sorry for him. Won't be rubbed in trouble just for being family with a guy like that. He's got a lot of haters too. Like that group hanging around in the alley. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we know his last name. You're getting yours tomorrow and Jen the next day. Nice. That's good. I'm, I'm glad you're getting yours as well. Wait, which alley is he in? Some alley here? It's probably not you guys, right? No. I don't know what alley they're on about. Maybe this alley? Hey, did you get any info on the guy? Hmm. I got something good. His name and phone number. And it was easy too. You'd think for an AI, he'd have better cybersecurity. And know something else. AI Musk Uzi is just an anagram of his real name. Ha, huh, I bet he thought he was being clever. Won't be long now until we figure out where he lives. Then we'll get everyone who hates him and we'll finally get what he deserves. Pulls the same kind of shit himself, he should know what's coming. Okay, but that's an anagram. So we know his last name already, so we just need to figure out the rest of it, I guess. How'd it go, people? This guy just, uh, yeah, we know. Kind of see why they say this mask guy is out of control. Plenty of people aren't happy with his antics, but he does seem to have quite a following. It seems he has a strange sort of charisma. That's around too much too, but I didn't learn much. Did you figure anything out? 
yeah, his last name is Amasaki. Nice, anything else? Uh, his full name's in his handle. I see, so if we can unscramble the anagram, we'll have his full name. Uh, that just leaves Uzi, right? Joker is so OP. He is, he is pretty OP right now. So write his first and last name into discrete parts. AMS comes out neatly to Amasaki. That also explains the extra A in the word. And Uzi on its own can be read backwards to find the name Izuo. Which means her target's name is most likely... Okay, cool. That's it. Yes. Well, we figured out his full name. That was pretty easy. But I mean... We, we have Satan itself a, a, as our persona. So, you know, pr pretty OP. Uh, all right, I can get another clothing grab bag as well over here. Maybe we'll get something nice. I don't think I got anything nice. I just sell all. Let's see though. Yeah, those are worse. Worse. Ooh, this is better for Morgana. I'll take it. Oh, a sinful bikini, right. A racy bikini that draws the eye. Um, 50 extra SP on you? Hold on, let's see. Yeah, all of the girls are gonna be allowed to wear it, I guess. Sure, you can have the old black tights. I'll give it to Sumire. And then... Okay, and then Futaba can have this one. There we go. And we have strongest of everything here already. Yep. Alright. Now, let's hang out with Sumire. And we're gonna get the romance option with her now, which is cool. Right? Because, yeah, we're going into rank 9, which should be the romance option. Let's do it. Hang out. Senpai. Senpai, thank you so much. Oh, but as to where we go, if possible, I'd like to go somewhere we can have a quiet discussion. Want to come over? Uh, what? Y y your house, Senpai? Uh, yeah, um, I think that's a bit early. I mean, I don't know if my heart's ready for that, so... Oh, when you said come over, you meant to LeBlanc? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I jumped the gun. I'm such an idiot. Suppose there would be a, we would be able to talk in peace there. Uh, if that's really okay, I'll head over there. Yeah, let's head over to the cafe. I'll make you a nice cup of coffee. And we can have a peaceful chat with no one else around. Because this cafe isn't doing great business, honestly, customer-wise. Sorry for dropping in on you like this. I hope it's not too much trouble. It's no problem. Thank you. I just need to talk to you about something in person. <laughs> wow, it smells great. Thank you. Mm, it's really good. Something about it is relaxing. I think I'll be ready to show Coach Hiraguchi my performance soon. And if you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to be there when I do. Is that okay? Of course. Great, I'm so glad. But that's not what I came here to talk about. Do you remember when I what I said when we went clothes shopping? I talked about wanting you to see me and how that helped me stop worrying. Of course I do. I'm so glad you remember. I was thinking about Kasumi. Listen to this is like you're in my room and I'm warm. Hey, that that that's a good feeling to get from watching this. I'm happy. I wondered how she must have felt thinking she didn't want to lose to me and wanting me to watch her. Maybe that's what we had in common. We both wanted something specific to see our efforts, to see us as we are. As long as we have that someone watching us, we can stay strong. 
So I finally realized something. I think that part of Kasumi's strength came from that. I was the one that she was thinking of. I never really heard her say it, but maybe she had been trying to tell me through her performance. <sighs> I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. I'm such an idiot. But I'm glad I finally realized it. Even as worthless as I am, I hope I still helped Kasumi somehow. I mean, she's definitely not worthless, and I know she helped Kasumi. I'm gonna tell her she's not worthless. Hi. Right, I have to believe in myself. Kasumi's beyond any apologies I could give her. I can't tell her how I feel. She'll never see me perform. That's the reality, and it happened because of me. I've been running away from that for a long time. But I'm done running now. It's time to stand on my own two feet. I want to live for both of us now, for the sake of everything we wanted. I want to grow even stronger, even if I end up in tears from failing at the meet or if the pressure is too much for me sometimes. With Kasumi's confidence and the grace she recognized in me, I'm going to keep moving up. I'm going to show Kasumi who Sumire Yoshizawa really is. She's not Lou, she just has really low self-worth because of some trauma. So there we go, rank 9. Uh, and so, now that I'm committed to, you know, not running away from my feelings, I, um, there's something I need to tell you, senpai. Go ahead. Thank you very much. The nervous sweats just kicked in, I guess. I realized it was less of a matter of showing off and more wanting someone to watch me. That is, wanting someone special to watch me. Someone I'd want to have eyes on only for me. And I thought of myself, well, for me, that special person's obviously senpai. So I think that means I'm in l l l l I'm in I in l Your persona could beat up her persona? <laughs> Maybe, but she's not worthless. And and she's she's gonna be my waifu now, so you know. I I'll have to beat you up if you shit talk her. What's up? I'm I'm in love with you. Wow, she's a lot more open about it than all of the other romance options. All of the other romance options kind of like beat around the bush and want you to basically say I love you to them but Sumire is like nah I'm confessing to you she stutters a bit she has trouble with it but she's the one that comes out with it first I should choose my words carefully um but the last thing I want to do is make you uncomfortable so I love you too Sumire I'm jealous because I thought I was your waifu. You know what, Lou? Y you can be part of my harem. How's that? Y you love me back? Oh, huh? So, so I guess that means it's it's mutual then? So, um, wh what happens now? Wait, does that mean you'll be my boyfriend? W well, um, I mean, I guess that's what I'm hoping for. So, oh, what am I saying? Take your time. Sorry, I'm the one who confessed, and now I'm totally messing this up. Honestly, I never expected I'd get this far. Phew. Senpai. Actually, Senpai, would you look at me for a moment? Sure, I'll look at you for a moment. Every anime girl's dream. Exactly. I want to know if, if it'll feel any different now that we're... Wow, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. You know what? Never mind. Now I'm gonna stare at you. I'm gonna stare you real good, because that's what you want to feel, right? Uh, um. Oh, look at that intense staring. She is blushing heavily. I uh, um you. God, that is adorable. You're so cute. What? I I can't take it. I feel like I'm melting. What do I do? I'm so embarrassed, but I want to be even closer to you, senpai. Ah, uh, adorable. I always want your eyes on me. 
I'm not in a relationship with Sumire. There's no turning back now. Um, I think if we get any closer, we'll bump our glasses together. But we could always take them off. Sumire and I spend some time alone together. I'm guessing with our glasses off. Anyway, I need to get going to practice. Took some right to the train station. And there we go. We now have an in-game waifu. After all this time, we finally have best girl. Uh, hi, um, th thank you very much for, for seeing me today. I'm, I'm sorry, I just pretend you didn't hear my voice cracking. I'm so selfish. I feel like I just left, but I already miss you. Just thinking about you stressed me out, but at the same time, I'm so happy. But stuck in panic mode. It feels as if I'm constantly riding a roller coaster. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm not gonna say should I hang up. That's so rude. But these two both kind of say the same. I kind of just want to say don't worry about it. It's fine. It'll it'll be good. Uh, that's just how it is. You're right. I already know there's nothing I can do about it. I sort of knew in the abstract that you can't cure love, but I just wasn't expecting it to be this powerful. Love, huh? I said it. I'm in love. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just stressing myself out. I feel like I can barely make sense of all these feelings, but there's one thing I know for sure. I'm so happy we've gotten this close, that our relationship has gotten this strong. Rex, we sent by, please stay by my side forever. Oh, I'd better let you go. I'd love to keep talking, but I'll save it for another time. Ah, uh, so cute. I love Sumire. She is definitely best girl for me. Definitely, definitely best girl for me. Okay, uh, we have EY who we actually can't get up. That's unfortunate. In that case, let's see if... Oh, uh, what's her name? Yeah, Chihaya is around because we can boost. We'll get a fortune reading. So many emotions. I mean, it is a nice moment, right? Uh, we'll do affinity reading on EY. And now if I check? Ah, uh, it's not enough to get it up. Well, well, we'll spend time with him anyway. Uh, actually, let me shop first. Because I need to sell all this treasure. Because I have way too much. Actually, I can also sell a bunch of this stuff, right? Because I probably don't need a bunch of this. Eh, I'll do that later. Okay. Let's uh, work. Wait, do we have a hang persona? I don't have a hang for I need to grab a hang persona first. Because that might let it go up. And I don't have that much time left to max everyone's confident rank. Uh, so I think, yeah, I don't have any free slots. Um, oh, no, uh, didn't mean to do that. Let me see, anyone I need to register? I guess I should. Yep. Yeah, just a bit of experience on all of them really, but 
Still probably worth registering. Wait. All right, you're just boosted in stats. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and then I guess when we go to create, anything new I can make. Hmm, could make some new ones. But then I just have to re-buy them anyway. What if I just strengthen? I think there's some that need something. So yeah, Siegfried with Vorpal Blade, which would be pretty nice. Or Vishnu with Riot Gun. Also, you have 60 in all stats. That's pretty good. Um, let's do... Let's do Siegfried. And we're gonna feed you this Ori Calcum. Yep, go ahead. boost you you get the level up to get the vorpal blade which i want i'll get rid of soul chain automatic mata rukaja yeah i'll do that over this okay and then now we can go to register and grab ourselves a hanged I mean that's just an expensive one I might just get the cheapest one I could also pay a little bit extra yeah I'll just buy this one because it's a bit better for fusion later if I want to or um I can give it as experience and then that's also a little bit better. Is this enough to rank up though? I'm not sure. Hmm. No, bond won't deepen just yet. Well, we don't have anything else to do right now anyway. Uh, sure, invite him to the Wilton Buffet, I guess. Why not? See, yeah, the food looks damn good, and I can't complain about the variety. But of all days, just have to be a special menu today. What are you gonna eat? Oh, what do you want? Tuna sushi, four ounce wagyu ribeye, fresh sea urchin pasta. Ah, uh, I'll go for the wagyu ribeye. What? That's an extra five thousand yen, kid. Jeez, I was gonna keep my eye on you. Me being a foodie was unthinkable not be too long ago. Thanks to you, I'm all refined now. Guess I could at least take Kaoru to a dessert buffet. Yeah, why are you taking me here instead of your son? Like, w what are you doing, Ewan? Probably should be taking your son to those things and not the part-timer at your job. At your store. I don't want to do the arm shopping channel. Yep, we can get Sumire max rank. Totally gonna do that. Hello, Senpai. Are you free today? If you don't know already have plans, can we maybe meet up? Go at once. Yes, thank you very much. I'm waiting at Kichijoji. Of course. <sighs> now we're just waiting for Dr. Ruki. I feel so anxious. It's like waiting for a competition to begin. Um, yeah, but we're, we're... 
Do I can make him closer? I feel like my bond will grow stronger. So yes. Let's hang out with her. Thank you. And let's get ready and head over to the gymnasium. Ooh, are we gonna watch her routine? That'll be cool. Oh yeah, she's in her gymnast outfit. Neat. If you do your best, you won't let her down. You look radiant today. Hi, it's your coach. やっぱりコーチには私の演技見届けてほしいと思って。いい顔してるわね、すみれ。はい。見せたいものがはっきり分かったんです。その様子だと何かを掴んだよね。けれど。Oh, Oh yeah, of course. But she's gonna blow you out of the water. Let's go, Sumire. Oh, my doing? I wouldn't take that credit. It's all on Sumire. Aw, oh, why thank you. Yeah, twirling it. I was kind of hoping we would get to see more of that, to be honest, but hey. Let's see what Coach thought. その覚悟はできている。もちろんです。私は世界を取ります。二人の夢を叶えるために。いい返事ね。あなたの持ち前の繊細さと届かない憧れを追いかける。タフネスさがあれば。世界は決して叶わない夢じゃないわ。いや、
のことを学ばせてもらいました私は私の感じるままに表現して私たちで世界を取ってみせます Feel a strong bond with Sumire. There we go. Max ranked. Nanji wa ware. Nanji koko ni chigiri o kitsumei no kizuna e to tensei se shimetai. Kizuna wa hangyak no tsubasa to narite, tamashi no kubiki o uchi abura. Ima koso Nanji. I wonder what her second awakening is gonna look like. Can we get Maria, the most powerful fate, Arcana? I really liked her current design of our persona. Ooh. The new one? It's pretty nice too. I think I prefer First Awakening design, but this one is still pretty nice. Sandralon has transformed into Fanatis. Nice. Yeah, you did your best and you did well. You were amazing out there. Of course. I don't want to let you go, though. And I think you're fine with that. Spend a long time with Sumire. Right, evade curse. I kind of want that. But what do we teach it in place of? Um. Phew. Maybe instead instead of glass amp. I like having a high chance of critical with sword stance. That's really good. Vorpal blade is gonna be good as well if I wanna target all enemies. Heavy blast on all and on single targets are both good to have. Brave Step is a nice one if I really want to go for crits. I think Blast Amp makes the most sense. Difficult decision though. I'm surprised we never get to invite her to our room though. I thought that was part of it. Hmm. Well, Senpai, I wanted to thank you for everything. I like I finally managed to move past the trauma. I'm ready to be an international champion. And Kasumi, well, she'll be right there with me. That's why I want to turn this world back to how it used to be. I want to keep my promise with her. Uh, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, I'm counting on you or where are our world's champions? Yeah, I'm counting on you. Great, I'll do everything in my power to support you. With me, Kasumi and you combined, we'll be invincible. Thinking of tying up my hair up again. I know it sounds a little pretentious, but it would be proof of my resolve. Like a reminder, so I'll always remember Kasumi's true feelings. Oh, I'm sorry for talking so long. I hope we can accomplish even more together. Okay, good night. Okay. 
Hmm. Yeah, we don't invite her to a room. Still don't really care about the home shopping channel. Uh, so what can we do now? Chihaya is max. We can get EY up. Sure, let's let's hang out with EY. All right, I said well, I got a job for you. Yep, let's go. I'm working the shop today. Sounds good. Careful with this gun. If anyone's interested in buying it, let me know right away. This thing is an antique. I'm not gonna sell it to anyone less than a real gun expert. I don't know about Suda. I already got excommunicated from the clan. Apparently his boss found out what happened. Serves him right, huh? Hmm. Do we want to say that's great news? I feel like EY cares about him too much to want me to say great news. Look kid, life's gonna be real tough if you're a soft here. Hmm. Okay. Well, I misread EY completely. This whole thing's been real crazy though. I mean, so they used to be the role model for upholding the code. I guess this is what he meant when he said times are changing. Hello? Oh, it's you. If you want to talk about Suda? Uh -huh. Wait, what? What the hell are you doing? Oi. You motherfucker. Hold on. <laughs> Damn it. The bastard Masa has abducted Kaoru. Will Kaoru be okay? He damn well better be, or else Masa is a dead man. God, that piece of shit. He knew about Tsuda's failure the whole time. I bet it was just waiting for a chance like this. We should hurry. Right, they're over at Seaside Park. I'll grab the keys and lock up. Come on, let's go. So why is he holding him at knife? Like, he could easily, Karu could easily run over to us. He might get slashed a little bit, right? Which would hurt, but he'd be fine. And then we can step in and 2v1 him with the knife and take the knife from him. This isn't as threatening of a situation as they make it out to be, right? He doesn't have this knife against Kaoru's neck or anything. Let Kaoru go. Take it easy, Mune-san. All I did was give him a friendly ride home from cram school. Ain't that right, Kaoru-kun? Dad, I'm sorry. He said he had some stuff to tell me about you. Then he... Kaoru? Man, ain't he just a great kid? What's your goal here, Masa? And what are you, Mune-san's little errand boy? Wait, I remember you. You're that weirdo from the diner. Boy. I said let Kaoru go. I heard you the first time. So what are you going to make me do? Great question. You know those modded guns you were going to give to Tsuda? It'd be real nice to get my hands on them. There's a lieutenant spot open now that Tsuda's gone. But I still need to prove my worth before I can get it. And you're going to help me do just that. <laughs> Sorry, Masa. But you got some real shitty timing. We just broke them all down. There's nothing left. You think that's gonna dissuade me? You know, I know everything about Kaoru-kun's situation. What? My situation? Dad, what does he mean? See, and if you had just taught Kaoru the truth, right? And told him everything. Because he's old enough for this, right? He's definitely old enough to have that conversation with. If he had just told him everything and be honest and transparent about it, so he's aware of the dangers, this would never have happened. But, yeah, EY messed up big time. Did you remember what I told you in the car, Karukun? About your dad? About what he thinks of you? Right. I'm just a burden, aren't I? That's it, isn't it? Tell me, dad. I can handle the truth. That ain't true. I'm trying to protect you, Karu. Hey, this family bullshit is real touching all. We're supposed to be negotiating here, remember? Why don't we start with a delivery day? The sooner the better in my book. God damn it. Oh, don't give me that shit. None of this would be happening if you didn't go take that brat in. I knew it. Everything really is my fault. Kaoru. 
You need to trust your son. Raxby. Hey, what are you two chatting about over there? Karu, listen. There's something I've been keeping from you for a while now, and you're probably not gonna like it. Truth is, your real parents didn't die in a car crash. You were abandoned by your mother when you were still a baby. That's why I took you in. Believe it or not, I was actually a part of the Yakuza back then. Huh? Oh man, I can't believe you already freaking told him, Mune-san. He's not lying, Karukun. From what I heard, your mom tried to sell you to us, just so she could get her hands on some easy drug money. Sell me? Yep, that Mune's in here wasn't buying. She just dumped you and ran. And that's how you end up with a Yakuza dad. Pretty crazy, huh? Ah, that's a relief. I've been trying to hold that in all day for all day long. Couldn't wait to see the look on your face when you found out. Man, this is hilarious. Boom freaking who? How sad. <laughs> I mean, something like that would just make me respect my dad more, right? You never knew your actual mom. So it's not like you had a bond with her. And now you have a, an understandable explanation for why she's not in your life. But everything EY did, he never was your actually blood-related dad. And he still did all of that for you. That just makes it mean all that much more. Enough. Although that might be true, but it's in the past now. I'm not a child anymore, and I never let a stupid secret like that get to me. Huh? So what if my mom dumped me, or if my dad was part of the Yakuza? We might not be related by blood, but we're connected by the gecko. You know what? I don't care what you have to say about us. I'm me, and Munehisa Iwai is my dad. <laughs> Add a boy, Kaoru. Listen, Masa, let's put an end to this right here, right now. We can start fresh. You seriously still don't get it, do you? Kaoru Kuns. No, Masa. You're the one who doesn't get it. You've really fucked up this time. Ooh, it's Tsuda. Suda, I mean, sir? Don't give me that. I know you ratted me out to the boss. You never have been good at keeping your mouth shut. No, it was me. Uh-huh. And what do you think you're doing waving the knife around, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. Your kid got gut. Your kid's got guts, Mune. Like father, like son, huh? No. Looks like it. So what now? Well, I'll start by making this idiot repay his debts. I haven't thought much about what comes after. All I really know is this is where we say goodbye, Mune. Take care, brother. Let's go. Are you okay, Kaoru? Yeah, I was a little afraid, but it's all better now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised you stayed calm through all that. Guess you're maturing quicker than I even I realized. Kaoru is really strong willed. He sure is. He never would have been able to say all the shit he did. You know, I've been so busy making sure he doesn't end up like me, I forgot to see who he's actually becoming. Can't believe I'm only just realizing this now. And so thanks to you, kid. I appreciate it. For real. Yeah. You're, you're welcome, I guess. Yes. One more rank. Hey, all that excitement made me super hungry. Why don't we go back to the diner? <laughs> this seriously eat an old, eat on a whole nother level. You might even end up taller than me someday. <laughs> Come on, let's head over there. Let's go. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Yo, it's me. Sorry for that whole mess back there. Glad Kaoru saved all, but man, he ended up with a hell of an appetite after that. Sure was something connected by the gecko, huh? I guess it must have grown into a man when I wasn't looking. <laughs> Why that newts? Like father, like son. Nah, I'm not worthy of a son like him. He didn't get any of that integrity from me, that's for sure. After going out to eat with you guys, I can barely move. Too stuffed. Somehow it's the best feeling in the whole damn world. Thanks, Roxy. You did some great work. You got me saying all this sappy shit. Downright really embarrassing. I gotta go get some air. Cool down a little. Alright, later. 
So what's the final thing with him gonna be? Because that would have made a pretty good final scene and I'm not really sure how they want to, what they else they want to show there. Hmm. Some big fish. Fishing in the snow. Interesting. I'm not sure if it's still gonna snow though. But I guess I can consider that if it ever snows again. Okay, so if I check my confidence now, I just have Ryuji and EY at 9 and everyone else is maxed. So if I can hang out with Ryuji, I need to do that. Hmm, I can't get a second awakening with Sumire. And hello, Rayru. Welcome in. How are you doing? You can unlock... Yeah, yeah, I, I saw I could do it with Haru. But I was checking what my other options were. And with Sumire, it's not possible, I guess. Which is unfortunate. But yeah, Haru is... Uh, Haru it is, then. Uh, I'm not quite sure if anything special happens when I do this, so I'm gonna make a quick save before we do it. Just in case I mess something up or something. Let's see. I can see you. You have some time to spare right now. There's something I need to tell you, is that okay? So yeah, we're max 10. Uh, yeah. Let's hang out with her. Thank you. Could we go to my place for today? I'll treat you to some delicious black tea. Just wait a moment while I get changed. Sure, we'll visit Haru. Oh, her bedroom. We haven't been here at all. It's a nice looking bedroom. Sure to call you over out of the blue like this. Please feel free to make yourself at home. Your room is beautiful. Uh, there's nothing other than usual in here. No need to look around like that. I need to speak with you about this situation. Or rather, because of it. I feel like I owe you an apology, Rex Wikun. I'm sorry, I was just so useless. What's this all about? I'm so ashamed. Dr. Maruki crafted me a saturine, a perfect new reality. And I accepted it without a second's pause. I was only able it was only because of you that I was able to find my own path. You were the one who gave me a future. And what did I do with it? I'm so pathetic. It's not your fault, it's Maruki's. You're so kind, Rexwikun, but I'm afraid it doesn't feel like enough this time. I want to stand at your side through this, and I want to do it with pride. In truth, I did wish that my father was still alive. I wanted us to rebuild the company together. No more than that. I wanted to save my father. But that's just not possible. No matter how important he was to me, he's gone now. And I cannot bring him back. Surely if, if I could just rewrite the past for my own benefit, it would be terribly selfish. Mm, why do you think that? Mm. I don't know. But what of the newfound purpose I gained after my father's death? What of all the support you gave me? Even if you could simply choose to be happy, it wouldn't be worth denying everything that brought me here. So I need you to understand that I'm determined to see this truth. I won't run away anymore. I refuse Dr. Maruki's gift to us. I'll choose our own reality. The one I defined through my own hardship, mistakes and tears. Yeah. So, giant skull? Oh, that's your first and second form? Now, fuse? Oh. Oh! <laughs> that, that, that's quite something to hide under your dress. Is this my power? I see. So I can still fight harder. Yes. Our persona, a start, has transformed into Lucy. 
That's a cool design. I like that. With the guns and the dress. That's great. I'm sorry I kept you for so long. That's all I wanted you to hear. From now on, I'll fight even harder. To make up for all the trouble I've caused you. I'll be counting on you. Eh? Yes. Hearing you say that makes me feel like I can do anything. I will grow even stronger. I have to keep pressing forward. For father's sake, too. <laughs> Thanks again for coming today. Be careful on your way home. Right, Haru. Decreases all allies' chances of being afflicted by ailments by 50%. That's very good. Life wall forms a barrier that reflects all attacks for all allies. That's good. I want to keep that. I want to keep evade nuke. Uh, Amrita shower isn't great, but I kind of want to keep that. I think I'll get rid of Psy Boost. That will lower our Psychic Skills strength a little bit. But keeps us with some flexibility in what we want to do. Heat Riser, maybe? Um, I mean, I already selected now, but let's see what Heat Riser was. I was thinking that too, because that's only one single target instead of targeting all. So that would have been a solid choice as well. Um, but I think that can still help if I have a fight where one specific member is really helpful, like is carrying. We can boost that one specifically by boosting basically all their stats. So I think I think that's okay. That would have been another fine choice, but I'm okay with this. Okay, crossword. 29. Uh, laying into someone. Okay, let's see. Uh, related to words. Uh-huh. And health exam. Okay. Let's see. Related to words. I mean, a lot of things are related to words. Laying into someone. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six letter word. What are things related to words? Mm. A health exam. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letter word. What are health exams? They are... Checkups. I don't think that fits. You can't say examination because there's no X. We could do hospice as a word which is related to health, but that's a seven letter word. That doesn't really fit anywhere, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's not really... Laying into someone. We have O, A, I, and E as our vowels. to words hmm. hmm these are tough because I really have no real good guesses on any of these Health exam, 
makes me think that it would be like health related. But then this is related to words, which are laying in someone. The three clues also don't seem to give any kind of theme, right? Usually the clues seem to relate to a similar theme, but I can't really discover that here either. I'll give up for now. Hold on. Let me see what I can actually do today. Um, so EY isn't available. Actually, that means no one's available, right? And we've already been... We've already done maximum... Maximum baton pass with everyone, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, we only have rank 2. Okay, so we can go play darts with Akechi again, I guess. I guess that's the only really thing to do. Mm, will this crossword be here tomorrow? It should be, right? Let's just uh, play darts with Akechi, because I really don't have anything else to do. At night, I think. You can go to the jazz gym? Uh, I guess I could do that as well. But we'll see tomorrow, because I think EY is my only confident that's going to show up at night. So I think my nights are going to be pretty empty yeah. coming up here anyway. All right, and you want to play 701, which makes it difficult because that basically means I need to do a 401 with nine darts myself, but I did it once. So I can do it again. Ah, oh, dang it, just missed. Oh, that's terrible. I think... I think I already need to just start over. I don't think I can make this anymore. What in that? Mm. Yeah, okay, that's terrible. I don't think I can do it anymore. Because it's going to leave me... 360 with... Actually, if I get two 180s, I can still do it. Assuming a catchy throws. Triple ghoul each time. But it's not the start I wanted at all. Because it means I have to throw absolutely flawless. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's not really what I was hoping for. Uh, but I guess we're trying... We should get another shot anyway, even if we fail now. Um, okay, no, I already messed up. We can't do it anymore. Because my first throw was real bad. I wonder if I get three times bull each time, I would get 450, he would get 300, it's 750. That would be good too, right? I mean, I can't do that exactly because that's 49 over, but... You can reload the game, yeah, but I'm not gonna do that. 
I know I could, but... I don't care enough to reload the game. It's mostly that I messed up my first round. Yeah, let's try again. Oh, come on. Okay, 140 isn't terrible. We can still make it if we get a 140. Come on. Are you serious? I'm terrible. Um, I think this is technically gonna be a finish 161, right? I think I got the same thing last time. But yeah, it should be triple 17, triple 20, and then bullseye. So it's a tricky finish, but I've done it before. It's not a nice bounce. Okay. Uh, triple 17 is 51 and then bullseye. Oh my God. I messed that up. Well, rip. <sighs> well, that was a bad day. Bad use of time. But Akechi is an idiot for wanting to play 701. Nobody plays 701. 501 is the game mode that people play, not 701. I blame Akechi for this. He doesn't deserve max baton pass rank. Stupid character. It's an Urkel day, yeah. Folks been acting kind of weird lately, huh? Even if people around me are talking differently now, are they really optimistic? Same kind of thing in town too, everyone seems kind of restless. It's part of the work to Dr. Morgan's power too, isn't it? It's possible. Yeah, I guess it hasn't happened to everyone yet. But if we don't change Dr. Morgan's heart by the deadline, we're not even going to realize that something is wrong anymore. You have to win, no matter what. Yeah. We'll win. Oh, I guess we're actually attending classes. I was talking to my friends from overseas recently. They keep introducing me to new slang I've never heard of. Well, English slang is constantly evolving with the times. Textbook English is much more static. It's so lame. But sometimes you can work out the meanings behind slang through context clues. Some are just natural extensions of English language constructs that have already been in place for years. Others might combine normal words or use more common phrases in new or unusual ways. Take thirsty, for instance. Ordinarily, it describes a need for a drink, 
That's a pretty serious need, right? But a slang, it describes someone who's a little too desperate, like a boy who won't stop asking you out. Oh, and hangry. That's when you're so hungry, it puts you on edge, and everything makes you mad. So here's a test, Mr. Weep. Oh no, my, my English slang is getting tested. This will show how in touch I am with today's youth. Would you say you're feeling a little salty? What would salty mean if used in the slang sense? Oh, I know what salty is. What does that mean? Wait, wait you're asking about kind-hearted is when you're someone is sweet. Salty would have a negative connotation. Salty is like resentful, I guess. It's not the hunger, is it? Resentful is a bit harsh, I'd say. I feel like it's more like annoyed, frustrated with things. Not necessarily truly resentful, but I guess resentful is the closest out of these three. If someone calls you fault, salty, that probably means they're angry or resentful. Mm. Okay. It means you resent something. Other flavor based descriptions apply too, like sweet or sour. Sign can be rooted in many origins, common words, acronyms, and of course, portmanteaus. Have you heard of the word frenemy? Yes. It's a portmanteau of friend and enemy. Think something like a rival or an enemy who acts friendly with you. Hmm. So, more fun than stuffy old standard things, right? But it's good to learn the rules before you break them. If anyone wants to learn some extra slang fog app, I would be positively psyched to offer some bonus lessons. Okay, so it's after school. Okay. So, one thing I actually want to check. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Ten days left. And I still need one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no, no, I, I miscounted that. So one max rank. I did you. Two, three, max rank plus, um, Second or third awakening is five, six. I need like six more days. Okay, so I should be able to max rank and third awakening everyone. Okay, but Ryuji is available, so we'll hang out with Ryuji. I do want to keep an eye on when Sumire is going to be available for um, for another awakening, if it's possible. Let's go hang out with Ryuji. Yeah, let's hang out. Let's grab some ramen after we construct. Some race on the 2nd of February. Okay, so it's like locked to a specific day. I see. Well, that's fine. We should be able to get everyone's third awakening then. And we can get EY during an evening to the max rank. So I think we'll be fine, which is cool. I was hoping I would be able to max rank everyone, and it looks like I will be able to that, that plus all of their third awakenings. リーク上部だけど復活早々山内のやつ降ろされたって竹石の親がPTA会長だって知ってるっけあいつが親にいろいろ吹き込んでなスカート選手なんて許しませんぞ他の親御さんと直談判したそうだ
山内どんな顔してたんだろう学校側も PTA 会長は無視できないってわけ結果陸上部は復活顧問は臨時で前の監督になったって話、oh, well, that's good. I'm glad things worked out for them. いい君だスカッとしたぜあいつらなら陸上でいいとこまで行けるかもしれねえ I'm looking forward to it. Ramen, Nobis, or not? Cool, eh? Cutta, Cutta. Honto was a little quack at the night. I thought of Mukiano. Tell me no Bacasaka game, or more does she? I don't know, cave it's no mana dash toka. Hey, but looking back on that, that just shows how much you've grown, Ryuji. Naniori, Ibasho Nakusta Koto Zuto was it on the Katakasa? Koyu no Garaja Nesi, Nanti take a yoku a cane kedo. Oh, my guy, take a takara. Oreva Kawareta. ごたごたに巻き込んじまったけどお前最後まで付き合ってくれたよな俺を見捨てなかったよな of course not ありがとな but you know you're the one who did it it's all because of you <笑>不思議だよな怪盗団のために体鍛えるっつう話だったのになんでこうなっちまったんだかけど次は俺の番だこれから先何かあったら言えよ今度は俺がお前を何があっても助けてやる Sure Well there you go Ryuji Max rank with you finally He's like the first confident we get, and aside from EY, he's the last one we max rank, which is kind of funny. He just had the bad luck of not showing up on days where I didn't have anything else to do, and the only times he showed up as available was on days where I literally wanted to um, hang out with someone else instead. That's the day he showed up. You can now fuse Chi Yu, the most powerful chariot arcana. Cool. So I like your skull pirate on the ship. That one was cool. Floating on a giant brain? Captain Kid has transformed into Saiten Taisei. That's pretty cool. Very different, but still pretty cool. Okay. Should we run after we just ate? How about a break instead? Uh, evade wind. I kind of want that. Mean physical damage to all foes. That's not that strong. Yeah, I'll get rid of that because I don't think I've ever used that to be honest. Okay. Oh wait, the crossword isn't there anymore? Oh no. Did I miss my chance for the crossword now? Well, that's unfortunate. I thought the crossword would still be there, but it's not apparently. 
Unfortunate. Okay, uh, so EY we can get max rank, which would be good. And for the rest, there's nothing really I want to do. I know I have EY. I know. But I wanted to see if the crossword was there. But we'll, we'll go visit EY. You invited me here. What do you mean intruding? You literally invited me over here. まだ言ってるよ。もちろんショックだったけどさ。でもそれで僕を引き取る気になったんでしょ。じゃあいいじゃん。yeah this is true this is what i've been saying you didn't trust him early enough and that made karu become leverage over you yeah but hiding it doesn't change that it's part of their identity it just means that they can't Accept it as part of their identity and learn how they want to handle it. Orem,ダメな両親のおかげで、母の他人に疲れたり、それを言い訳に。僕の父親はダメじゃないけど、ミリタリーショップの立派な店長だよ。He <laughs> was kind of slow. Oh, I want to kind of say that. ね、水を差すんじゃねえ。あ、sorry。結局俺の一人相撲だったんか。生まれたの育ちだの。そんなもんに囚われてたのはよ。カオルを見る目が歪んじまってたんかもな。が許してあげるよ。お前、なんか性格変わってねえか？元気が ついワペン。津田さんの情報とか集めたんでしょ。その筋の人の揉め事に関わるなんて。普通そんな危険なことまでするかな。I uh-huh, yeah, uh, hmm, about that. Okay, goodbye. And now he's gonna say, I know you're part of the Phantom Thieves. ガキってな成長が早い。生意気に育っても困るが、面白いもんだな。さて、閉店準備だ。お前、シャッター下ろせ。津田も急に変わったよな。いや、ファニーヒデン。あんまニュースは見てねえけどよ。まさにあれが改
俺にできる支援だからな。So I guess we'll visit him and customize some guns. So, who is the ultimate hanged persona? Alice. Right. All right. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? I generally don't have anything to do. I'm just gonna sleep. Snow coming tomorrow. Think we'll get a real blizzard? Who knows? You already even ever see heavy snow in Tokyo. I predict heavy snowfall, but it's gonna be wet snow, so it won't really pile up much. Sources: some guy on TV. Oh no, my flower beds. I should go check on them. I'm sure they'll be fine. But if you need help with them, I'll do what I can. Indeed, Ryuji can as well. Man, you can't just volunteer me. Not that I wouldn't though. You need any heavy lifting done? I'm your guy. Actually, if the snow's gonna be that bad, I think it might have some effect on the metaverse too. Might as well keep it in mind when we plan for tomorrow. Oh yeah, do we want to go to the metaverse when it's snowing or do we want to avoid it? I can't remember what's better. In any case, Yusuke and Anne and Futaba Are available as options. Um, I'm gonna actually walk around Shibuya because there's supposed to be um, what's up? Who's never forgotten about the fan of thieves? They're secretly fighting. Sure, the higher ups are allowing us to report on the Phantom Thieves. I just have to tell us. Hmm. Um, but yeah, there should be the one request, I think. Ask around in Akihabara. Oh, Akihabara, not Shibuya. Do you know anything? Scrim Makala, that's a nice one. Would you be willing to give me? Can you trade it to me? Uh, sure. Wait, so if I. Eat? Sure, let's do it. Mini Dominion? Sure.
Okay, so you can just trade them for items with that guy. That's not super worth it for me. You know, catchy defending views, they're all just concepts. My proof of existence lies in maids. What's it even mean? So if I don't acknowledge you, you'll cease to exist? What? But you've continued to grace me with your trademark harshness. I'm not standing here for your sake, you know. When I just look online, all I see are people bragging about how great their lives are. No thanks. Some people wouldn't stop talking about the Phantom Thieves, but suddenly they disappeared off the map. Or the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Not really anything. Oh, you're back? I'm so happy that you came to see Lily Nyan again. Lily Nyan? Do you think it is that idol, Lilina? The name came up in the post about the dad that's obsessed with indie idols. Let's get a closer look. Thank you for always buying so much, Fu and Nyan. But are you sure it's okay with your family? Yes, yes. It's completely fine. Nothing is a problem if it means I get to talk to you, Lily Nyan. Just don't overdo it, okay, Fu and Nyan? I want you to stay with my fan for a long time. Oh my heart, you're an angel. Could I please get today's autograph from you? Okay. To Anji Fuwa Nian. Okay, I've got to get to work now. See you later, Fuwa Nian. Okay. Well, we've got his name now, but you still don't know if he's a parent or of our client. Let's go ask him. Okay. Ah, Lily Nian is such an angel. Let's find out if this is the dad who's overly obsessed with the indie idol. Hmm? Did you need something? I've just finished talking with Nanjo. I feel like I could say anything right now. Are you a fan of her? Of course, what else would it be? In fact, I just bought a big stack of her CDs as proof of my love for her. Well, my wife does make a bit of a fuss about it. I have no place at home or in my family, so I think I deserve to at least splurge a little here. No place in your family? Well, this is a fairly common thing in families. Father's role is paying the bills. He's not really involved in the child's life. No matter how much he might want to be. Uh, I think your kid would want you in his life. Did you talk to your kid? Of course you did. Don't act like you understand what's going on better than I do. If I went to your lecture, I'd talk to my wife. The only one I need is Lily Neon. It's gonna save my situation, but it's fixated on the idol. Looks like we got the right guy. Yep. Okay, so I figured that one out. Uh, now... Let's get Anne. Yes. Let's come with Anne. Are you going to visit her in her room? This is a lot messier than uh, Haru's room, huh? Sorry, it was kind of sudden. I know it's cramped, but make yourself at home. What's the plan today? Oh, I didn't call you here for anything big or official. Sorry. Actually, I wanted to give you a proper apology for everything. You know, because I got caught up in the life Dr. Maruki made for me. It's okay, I get it. Well, even if I didn't bother you, it's been on my mind. Honestly, I'm still trying to figure out what the right choice is. And thank you for that, host. I appreciate that. I mean, I'm not saying Dr. Maruki's reality is better or anything, but I can't stop thinking about Shio, or how great her life could have been if things were like this. I know the feeling, I understand. Thanks, don't worry, I'm still gonna fight back against Dr. Maruki. His world could make a lot of people happy, sure, but does that really give him the right to change reality? Shio was mo still moving forward. Even after everything she had been through, she didn't lose hope. My strength came from her. That's why when Kamoshida said he'd kill himself, I told him he couldn't run from it all. She didn't run away, so he can't either. And if I took the easy way out now, I'd be letting Shio down. You're right. You're so kind, Raxby. Kind of familiar, huh? Back when I finally broke down under the Kamoshida stuff, you listened to me like this too. You didn't know me at all, but you still listened to everything. I couldn't figure it out. Like, I kept thinking, what's this guy's deal? Not only that, but you helped me with Chio and my modeling. You're too nice for your own good. Anything for you. <laughs> I get it. Can't stand the sad face on a pretty girl, huh? Anyway, I really am grateful, but that just makes me feel even worse about accepting this reality. 
I'm never going to lose my way again. And from now on, I'm going to face reality. For me, for Shio, and for you. Yeah, of course. You got it, Anne. So both of yours are kind of neat, but there's definitely room for improvement, potentially. Ooh. Literally stepping on someone? Okay, that's... yeah. I think this design is the coolest of her three persona. I'm down for this. Anne's persona Hecate has transformed into Celestine. Okay, I'm ready to move on. Thank you for everything. I promise I'm gonna do even better from here on out. Alright, I'll see you later. Alright, we get Pinnacle of Magic. May decrease the speed cost of allies' magic skills by half, which is nice. And high energy, next magic attack deals over double damage for all allies. Heck yes. That's basically like concentrate, but you can target everyone. Um, yeah, I'll teach it how to concentrate. Hmm. Looks like I missed my chance to do that crossword. Uh, let's see. So there's no one available now in evenings. I could go to the jazz club. What does that do for me though? Go to the gym, just work out. Actually, let me go to the airsoft shop real quick. Uh, I want the shop. Customizing is free now, so let's customize everyone. Um, This gets me a lot of power, but less accuracy. Oh, this is a very poor accuracy. High burn. Less power, less rounds, though. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Although burn can lead into something else, of course. I think 384.85 is pretty nice. Eighty-five is like still a nice amount of. Uh... Actually, let me see if I can't just buy better ranged weapons for people. Sixty k though. Well, that basically doubles your attack. Uh, 330.92. We can get a bit less but 99 accuracy, making sure we pretty much never miss. 396. High shock. Nah, you can already cause shock enough. I think I'll take like slightly less damage, but 99 accuracy, so we pretty much always hit. Uh, you have 230, we can go up to 310. Nah. 235, 315. No, I think we can get a better gun from 
giving up something. Uh, yeah. A Sumeray? Yeah, we'll, we'll buy a better one for Sumeray. Because I like Sumeray. Um, 90 power or 378? Still 90 accuracy. It's pretty good. Or we can get high burn, high shock, or high freeze. Would any of those be useful? Maybe. I think so actually. I think that's probably worth. I think I'll do high freeze. Let's try that one. Okay. Um, I want to keep at least 90 accuracy. You barely do damage anyway, so I might as well give you... Burn? Yeah, that's fine. One Power 282. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, Yusuke. Eighty-five accuracy, ninety-five accuracy. I'll give you a bit more accuracy. Why not? Um, accuracy drops for you aren't really worth it. to actually hit things because most of the time you just miss and then it's just not worth it at all 99 that's not needed 85 is still fine i think oh 85 and an element now nah, we'll do this. okay sure that's fine i think Uh, and then there's really nothing to do for me at this point. I'll go to the jazz club. I haven't gone to the jazz club before. At least I don't think I have. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Looks like for mine they will serve non-alcoholic cocktails. Nice cocktail saltini. Let your soul open up with this cocktail and take yourself to the next level. Looks like there are days the singer comes in. The singer comes in on 126. The members you fight will have their persona strengthened as well as receiving other helpful effects. Interesting. If you visit on the day when a live singer performs, a special cocktail will be served. The effects of the cocktail will be doubled if it's a weekday. Sure. Um, so tomorrow we might invite Sumire. Let's try inviting Makoto today. Yeah. Hmm. Can refer. Yep. My name is Muen. I'm the manager, a long many friend of a catchy in here. Just as the sign said outside, it can't serve alcohol to high schoolers. You have to make do with non-alcoholic. Yep. That's fine. You can sit down anywhere that's open. Sure. All right, I guess I still need to do the darts with a catchy, huh? I think you know a place like this too. It's simply amazing. I suppose it would be rude of me to look around while there's so many people here. 
Okay, and we get our cocktails. This is good. Are these kind of cocktails adults drink? Uh, just non-alcoholic versions, I guess. Hey, I was going with the recipe I found online, and the flavor came out very rich. For a lighter tasting dishes, so I was really surprised. But sisters ate it normally, even though we're sisters, our tastes are quite different. It's gone late. I was nervous at first, but it's very homey here. I feel like Tongue would you help me to remember my original resolve. Thank you. Is that an effect on Makoto's heart? Oh, so I just boost the stats and levels it up. Yes. Oh, and increases their max is oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's pretty useful. I didn't press the screenshot button game. Trust me. Nothing to read. What's up, Ryuji? The snow's crazy. It's freezing but exciting. I think there's been some kind of change of mementos. I have to get ready. Maybe. I guess we could try to go to mementos because it's snowing. I do have two requests to go do there. I guess let's see what our alternative is. Makoto Awakening, which I kind of want. So it's Makoto Awakening versus going to the metaverse? Hmm. Let me actually see, because I feel like there was something about the metaverse during snow. Bad weather. And this with bad weather like rain, moments will be more dangerous. This is a chance to get extra items. Enemy reinforcement will be more common, but they will be rare enemies. Items you find may be more valuable. There will be a great number of chests. Oh, I don't care about that. At least not to the point where I want to prioritize that over getting third awakening with Makoto. Man, her room is really neat, but I like it. It's, the desk is a bit tiny for my liking, but I guess for her laptop, that's fine. And I like the panda bear. Like she, of course, has the panda bear pencil case, but then in the cabinet to the left, you also see some pandas and some medals. It's a nice room. I like it. It's her for calling you over so suddenly. Also, a panda on the bed hiding beneath the text box. There's something I just had to tell you. What is it? A little panda next to the tissue box on the table. Honestly, I wanted to apologize. I couldn't back you up when you needed me the most. That's not true. But it is true. Ever since the new year, I was stuck in Dr. Maruki's false reality. You remember the time before I joined the Phantom Thieves, when I called you to the student council room? It challenged you on your ideals, threatened to expose you all, as if I knew anything about what was going on. But since then, I've learned so much from the Phantom Thieves. From you. You've saved me more times than I can possibly count. After all that, I'd promised myself that if you were ever in trouble, I would leap in to save you. But I forgot that vow. I just threw it away so I could cling to father and sis. It's awful. It's not that all along it was so weak and self-centered. It's not your fault. Maruki did it. Even if it isn't, does that really make it okay? Considering all the ways I made you struggle harder, even unknowingly, I can't just let that go. You know, I think I'm more lonely than I was willing to admit. Father never spent much time at home. When he was there, he always had his mind on some case. And sis put all her time into her work for both our sakes. I respected them both so much, and I still do, of course, but I can't just let them take care of me forever. That's your decision? <laughs> it's what I think, at least. Though it's a fairly new idea for me. If I hadn't been in this situation, I'm not sure it would have even occurred to me. In any case, I've made my decision. 
I'm done just sitting quietly and doing as I'm told. If I'm weak or self-centered or lonely or too dependent on my family, then that's my problem to fix. But my pain's still a part of me. All the struggles, your sport, it's what helped me stand up for myself. I can't lose that. I'm not exactly abandoning the person I was, but I figure trying to bottle it up will only make my life harder. I want to be able to look at the most awful, disgraceful parts of myself and still be able to say, so what? That's great. Good, good for you, Makoto. It's a relief to know you're supporting me. If I can get everyone to understand me and really see who I am, then I think that'll give me strength. If I'm ever tempted like this again, I'll remember to stay true to myself. Even if it's not a conscious decision. That's why I wanted to apologize. Guess I'm not completely ready to stand on my own just yet, but I'll keep trying and I won't run away. Okay, so you didn't have the best looking persona so far. I mean, the motorbike was kind of fun, but the second one was kind of weird. Huh. I mean... I don't know. Anat has transformed into Agnes. I don't think her persona designs are the best. It's strange. All it took to make my heart stronger was to put myself first. Yeah, that's weird. Sorry, but it looks like I still have to rely on you a while longer. So I hope you'll be prepared. I mean, not necessarily that her designs are bad. It's just like not to my tastes, I guess is a better way to put it. Gaia Blessing. Increase Alice's chance of inflicting burn free shock. That's pretty good. And Checkmate. Decrease attack, defense, accuracy, evasion for all foes. Hmm. Uh, where do I place this? I want the Psy Evasion. I kind of like you to be able to heal. Nuke Amp with your nuke skills is of course good. Maybe I get rid of nuke boost. Because Defense Master is nice. Dekuna is nice. That if they debuff us we can just get rid of all those debuffs at once. And probably want to keep Defense Master over Nuke Boost. Yeah. We have a week before the deadline. Damn it, I can't relax. I know what you mean. Everything moves so fast when we're up against that big evil DD thing. But now we have so much time to think it over. I can't help but feel nervous. Right? It's like, uh, we still got a whole week left. Gotta be ready. Well, you all sound tough and leadery. Or you sound all tough and leadery. It would be no exaggeration to say that this time the fate of the world really is in our hands. Like Roxy says, we should prepare as much as we can before the time comes. However, we feel about it, it's only a single week. We just need to make sure we don't go in with anything left undone. Ryuji, you better not panic like it's the last day of summer break. For real? It's tomorrow? Oh crap, what do I do? You know, like that. Yeah, I can see that. Hmm, pretty easy to imagine. I'm not that bad, guys. Either way, we should all do all we, do all we can, so we go into this with no regrets. Thank you for getting us back on track, Haru. Okay, uh, so I... I think again there's no one gonna be around. So I guess we go hang out at the bar, the jazz club. Let your speed and luck explode. So if I check everyone, the 
you have 47 46 56 54 so you have much better agility already 49 53 55 40 68 53 you're boosted already 51 45 61 54 you already are pretty good I might have to bring in Haru maybe because her agility and luck aren't that great or Anne Ryuji is the slowest I think yeah followed by Anne and then Haru Um, but I kind of like Sumire a lot. Mm. I guess Am being quicker helps me. This is so how it looks in here. It's like a hideout for adults. The room's pretty neat too, but this isn't bad either. This is so nice. Lifting is great, but there's just something special about it. Flavor, I think I like it. It's got kind of a mature vibe to it. English class is so depressing. I mean, I'm good at the subject, but the teacher always gives me this look, like she's afraid of me. It really bothers me. I mean, it made me realize that I've got to change myself. Like the, yeah, cool. So that, oh, her magic increased as well. Agility by three, luck by three. Her magic was already really good, but I guess that got boosted more. And it's now 69. Nice. Okay, I guess I'll spend my days, my evenings at the jazz club. Many plagues have swept through this world. Cholera, measles, pestilence. All diseases of incredible strength. They resist all our cures and yes, some can even kill. But there's one disease we do not fear. We even welcome it. Any guesses? It's the disease we call happiness. Huh, they think I was only being dramatic. A scientific studies suggest that the emotion of happiness spreads in much the same way as disease does. I don't weep good. How far did this study suggest personal happiness can spread? Probably to friends of friends of friends? Yeah. Wonderful, that's correct. It would seem your own happiness can indirectly affect the mood of your friends' friends' friends. Their findings suggest that happiness is spread through connections and physical proximity. Under these principles, perhaps it's not impossible to create a world in which everyone can be happy. Hmm. Interesting. But I can't bear that thought. A world of endless uninterrupted peace? That's a terrifying idea. Where's the thrill in a world without strife to spare agony? Without unhappiness, there's no true happiness. I don't want to live in a world that boring. I mean, I'm kind of with him. I think the contrast is important. As well. And I think the, like, having certain bad things in life can help you appreciate the good things and, and help you grow. Wait, no one's available? Why is no one available? 
Uh, well, in that case, uh, I guess I'll go into the metaverse. Oh, hi, Sumire. Oh, hoi hoi na. Kuruto chu de, omoi tsui ta koto ga arimashite. Chotto isoi de kitan desu. Ooh, lay it on me. Or rather, lay on me. If you know what I mean. Maikara, tsukan desu. Isekai de mo, watashi ra shii tatakai kata ga deki nai ka na te. Sumire ra shii ka. Nani ka omoi tsui ta no ka? Hai, sore de. Oh, we're gonna get a tag team attack with her. Wait, does that mean that whoever you pick as a romance option, you get a tag team attack with? That's cool. I like that. Sounds like a blast. Yes, showtime with her. Because it's Hmm, so you have to kind of replay the game then multiple times to see each showtime. Okay, so we have two of them, I think. Yeah, two, which are both S rank max. Well, let's do a quick save here.